A Merced woman carrying her third child is fighting for her life at a Bay Area hospital. The due date isn't until the end of March, but it's likely her baby will have to come early. Her team of doctors is doing all they can to make sure she survives the birth. Gracie Cigaroa has one wish for Christmas. I don't want to leave my husband alone to raise the kids. She planned on being at home in Merced, enjoying her youngest son's first Christmas, but she'll be spending the rest of her pregnancy in this hospital bed at Stanford Medical Center. At 18 weeks, Gracie found out she has placenta percreta, a rare condition in which the placenta protrudes from the uterine wall. In her case, it's attached to the bladder and potentially other organs. I'm only 23 years old, and at the time, I didn't realize how deadly Percreta was, so my only thought was, is, you know, I'm losing my fertility, and I'm having to have a hysterectomy, and then I found out more, and it was very scary. What should be one of the most joyous times for an expectant mother comes with a grim statistic. She's been given a 13% chance of surviving childbirth. Any time that you have abnormal placental implantation, there are risks to both mom and baby. And the risk is that the patient starts bleeding from that area of tissue. Gracie is anemic, so she's even more concerned about the added risk of excessive bleeding. I'm very worried about what the surgery is going to entail and how I will do getting through it. Her husband, Seth, and two sons are home in Merced. Seth is currently enrolled in the police academy in Fresno, so he can't be with her every day. I just want to be able to leave the hospital and be good for my kids and my husband. Dr. Sweldo says her field is learning more and more about placenta accreta and percreta. And while there are cases that are coincidental, a prior procedure could increase your risk. The number one risk factor for abnormal placentation is actually a history of a previous C-section. For Gracie and her family, they're hoping the top-notch medical team assigned to her case can help induce a miracle. It makes me feel better about, you know, the situation because they said there was nowhere better for me to be with this, and that's what I want to hear. And she tells me she wants to raise awareness about placenta accreta and percreta. Unsure of her future, she's created a GoFundMe page to help with expensive. You can find that on our website. Margaret.